Mr. President, Mr. Commissioner, I wish to congratulate Mrs. Thompson for her excellent report. Also, I wish to congratulate the four opinion draft persons who have offered useful additional points and advice. Mr. President, even to the most difficult to convince people, and that probably includes Mr. Chichester, who has left now, it is now clear that our planet is warming up dangerously and that climate change is a real threat to life on Earth as we know it. How much of this change is due to natural climatic variation and how much is due to the accumulation of climatic changes gases in our atmosphere is still a matter of some dispute, both among scientists and politicians. Where there is no dispute is that the accumulation of gases such as CO2 is certainly making climatic change worse, much worse. And even at this late stage, when the catastrophic effects of climate change have commenced, the world is awakening slowly, perhaps too slowly, to the urgent need to do something about it. The EU is one of the frontrunners in trying to deal with this problem. The roadmap for renewable energy in Europe is certainly an important step in the right direction, and I am sure it will have the full support of most MEPs. But once a proper legislative framework is achieved, member states must be compelled to implement it and effective monitoring systems must be put in place. Of course, in order to have a real effect in halting gas-induced climate change, two further goals must be achieved. Firstly, a roadmap for renewable energy must extend further than the EU to cover as much of the world as, as possible. This is a formidable task indeed. And secondly, we must understand that we must make our citizens understand themselves that along with action on renewable energies, we need to reduce energy spending in general. If we go on increasing our energy needs indiscriminately and seemingly in a limitless fashion, then irrespective of how many roadmaps on renewable energy we draw up, all will be ineffective in the end. Thank you.